Up next on Boat Show TV, it's time to push the throttles open and check out the latest beauties from Outer Limits Power Boats. Despite the tragic loss of Mike Fiore last year, the Outer Limits crew continues to make waves in the go fast world. The Miami display had two new catamarans and two new V bottoms to drool over. Well, we made our way over to Outer Limits Power Boats, and there's a lot going on here. Four big boats. Steve Curtis is a big part of that. Uh, Steve, you've been an offshore racer and a boat builder for decades. Uh, you've made a big name for yourself in the offshore performance world. Uh, but more recently, you became a big part of the Outer Limits family, developing the catamaran program with Michael over the last few years. You came out with some race boats. You've got some recreational cats as well. So tell us where the catamaran program is right now with Outer Limits, starting with this boat here. We started off basically on a race program that the boat we've got behind us sure. is the first one that we really got hold of and made a bit special. It's got a lot of new technology in it. Yeah. Um, it's obviously not finished, ready to go, yeah. but you know, this is just a little taster of what it's going to be. Sure. Um, this boat here is going back up to the factory. It's got about three weeks work on it, you know, to do all the final little bits and get it all in one shape. Then it's coming back down to me in Orlando, sure. where we're going to fit the boat out and start testing it for the race series. So uh, in what class and what power will this boat run? This boat right here is in the Supercat class, yep. so it's going to run twin 750 big block Chevys. Yep. We're hoping it's going to run 130 to 140 miles an hour. Sure. Um, but we've designed this specifically for good acceleration and being able to turn really hard. So we've, you know, all the bottom work we've done isn't about top speed, it's about acceleration and turning really well. We've got the recreational Outer Limits Cat over here. Let's talk about that boat. What model is it? What power is it? Well, that's a 46 foot out of limit. Fantastic boat. I just recently ran that on the lake in Lake St. Cloud, uh, St. Cloud yep. in Orlando. And it's 170 mile an hour, locked in, you know, it's a fantastic pleasure boat. Not set up for speed again, loads of acceleration. Yep. Um, it's running the, um, you know, it's running supercharged big block engines. I believe they're about 1300 horsepower each. Sure. Yep. So it's a super, super nice boat, beautifully finished, great hull design. And it's a fun boat, it's really a great fun boat to run. Still hanging out here at the Outer Limits booth. A lot of action here. We had a chance to speak with Steve Curtis about the CAT program. Paul Fiore on my left, Danny Kleitz on my right. These guys are busy. There's a lot of people in the booth and they want to look at these new boats. Paul, Outer Limits has a great heritage for building V-bottoms and really not slowing down with two new models here at the Miami show. Tell us about that big Monster 50 over there. That big SL50 is, is quite the boat. It's a much lower profile than the 52 that we also still build. You know, that thing with the 1350s run 145 miles an hour. I really like the idea that, you know, Outer Limits has a great reputation for building big, deep, free, a lot of freeboard, big, deep cockpit boats, which is why I always feel safe going 100 plus on a V-bottom. And in Outer Limits, you've got a lot of boat around you, and we've got that back with this boat. Absolutely. It's a real deep cockpit. Uh, we sacrifice a little bit of headroom in the cabin, but it seems like most of our clients aren't crazy about the headroom. Right. If they are, we have the 52. But this uh, SL50 has been a great boat. Uh, it runs fantastic in rough water, comfortable. And we, it's got a new bottom on it, right. which is a lot nicer rough water boat than we've ever had before. I guess we want to talk about this 41 too, Paul. Uh, Danny, you've been on this boat for the last hour. People have been climbing up those stairs, climbing in that boat, and you seem to be very content showing this boat. You seem very proud of it. So uh, what is it about this 41 that's so cool? Because it certainly has a nice look on the outside. What's good on the inside? Yeah, this is our uh, all new SL41. Uh, it's a brand new model. We developed a whole brand new hull design and a brand new deck styling for it. Um, it's got nice, sharp, hard, NG, you know, modern lines like a lot of modern day sports cars. Sure. Uh, the interior on this boat also features our new interior design, um, which is actually, this boat has an upgradable option of all Alcantara, which is a really high end ultra suede material that you okay. see in a lot of high end cars. Sure. And that's just been a real hit with the crowd. Yeah. Um, it's got a lot of cool custom painted parts in the interior, like the bolster seats and side panels. Uh, this boat, you know, it's got a, this one's rigged with Mercury 700's 700, number six okay. drives. Sure. So a nice turnkey reliable package. Right. Owner's going to be real happy with it. And with a new hull design, it runs 115 with a pair of stock 700's, which is unheard of, sure. you know, so far in our industry. So So for a boat like this, I think sounds like 700's the way to go. I don't think you need to go double digits or big uh, over 1,000, 1,100, because if you can go 115, uh, you know, that means a cruise of 90 uh, and a big solid platform and it's not gonna kill you to buy this boat. That's that's a reasonably priced boat, I think, in the Outer Limits line. Now, Correct. we did talk earlier about you still have that one. For those of you who wanna buy an Outer Limits and are ready to spend the big money on a 40-plus boat, they still have a 29, 
We've seen a few of those in the past. You got them in development. You got one coming? Yeah, we got, uh, yeah, we're going to be, uh, the 29 has been a pretty good boat for us. Uh, we got one sold to a Canadian client uh, right now. That boat's going to have a uh, Mercury 600 in it and a Bravo drive. Sure. And that boat set up, you know, with that power runs 100 mile an hour. And it's, uh, you know, the boat handles the speed incredible. The boat's uh, won three world championships in a row, and it's just been a, you know, a fabulous boat for us. It just keeps getting better as we return with a close look at the new Nortec 39 center console. Don't go away.